Hey, hey, what's good? What's good with y'all, man? It's me. We back. Okay, hold on. Let me set this down. Um, so I actually bought. Why do I look so short? I swear to God, it's the window. I'm not short. I swear, I'm not short. Hold on. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> so um i bought a range rover four days ago right and i was like mm, i like this range rover but i don't think it's for me fun fact by the way i bought the range rover my mom literally stole it from me she took it for two days but i'm actually going to be returning that range rover today and instead i'm getting a car that i've been wanting for a while and that is the track car baby Sorry, my energy is crazy right now. Okay, listen, boom, right? I'm about to drive two hours. Um, I'm actually about to go with my cousin. I'm getting an Uber there. It's gonna be like a three, four hundred dollar Uber. Um, it's all the way up in LA. I'm down here in San Diego, and I'm gonna pick up this track clock and. So y'all need to know. I'm just vlogging this. I'm just doing me. I'm gonna take y'all with me. We're gonna buy this track park. I've been dying to do it for a minute. I just haven't been um, in the right mindset to get it because number one. Um, I'm looking to actually invest in another house. I want to be as smart as I can with my money and um, I think I'm at a good point in life right now where I can actually start, uh, how do you say it? Uh, what's the word? Give me a dictionary, somebody. Here's the fucking dictionary. I'm at a good point right now in my life where I can start spoiling myself a little bit. Um, you know, a $150,000 car ain't that bad. It's really not. Uh, it's a track car, beautiful car. I'm at a good point right now where I was like, I can actually spurge on myself. I can actually do things. And of course, thanks to you guys, because without y'all, I just want to say, I wouldn't be nothing. Three days later. You're ugly, don't smile. So it is currently the next day. Um, I know I've been gone for a minute. Uh, like I know, like I can't. I told y'all like two days ago. I said I was back. And then I folded and I, and I never came back. But hey, we back. I promise y'all we back. So there's two things I've been dealing with. First of all, I've been dealing with a lot of stalkers around my house. And number two, I've also been dealing with uh, people blackmailing me. Well, it's not really people blackmailing me. It's really just this one person that I already made a video about literally two days ago. Um, I'm in the process of getting the law involved and we're doing like a whole investigation on who this really was. Number three, I actually did buy the track hawk. Um, so I went the other day to buy the track hawk which you're about to see here in a second. I'm about to show it to you guys here in a second. But when I went to go buy the track hawk, I didn't like their energy or their attitude that they gave me because to me, I'm a businessman, right? I'm a businessman. I'm not really there for connections. I'm not really there for like, yo, you know what I mean? Like I'm here to get the car, whatever it is, and I'm gonna get it as low as possible, right? So apparently they didn't like my offer and they gave me some nasty ass energy like nasty attitude when i'm talking like nasty they threw the papers in front of my face i was like bro you can give me this offer right now and guess what i'm still not gonna pay it i went the next day uh actually today um to pick up another track hawk from a different dealership it's literally the same color the same everything same like, i don't know how i got i got i just got lucky it's all from god bro i swear to god point being is uh yo like son i went to the dealership i wanted to buy the track hawk they just gave me attitude so i was like oh word all right all right you know i y'all y'all really don't want my money right y'all 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 not feeling my energy bet i'm out boom now before i show you guys this track hawk right i do want to have a actually you know what Ooh, do i just show <laughs> do i just show it i think i'm gonna show it let me not leak my address real quick all right y'all ready it's literally right here in front of me hold on there it is oh i know y'all see it listen <laughs> hold on we got a lot of talking to do <laughs> look at how beautiful it is bro supercharged you see that you see that? This ain't no normal Grand Cherokee. This is supercharged, you heard? Boy, yo, look at me, son. Look at me when I'm mentioning you this. Now, I actually got really extremely lucky, and I actually got a really good deal on this. Uh, it's a 2021. It's brand new. I ain't gonna lie. This don't look like a six-figure car, but I promise you it is. As you see, when you first come in here, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. 
This interior is lame as hell. I swear to God. But listen, I know why. I know why y'all came for. I know what y'all came for. Y'all came for what's under here. You will be. Hold on. Let me pop the hood. Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, son. I, this is what y'all came for. Listen, the track hawk is not about the outside. I mean, kind of is. It's not really about the interior either. It's more about right here. I know y'all see that. It's about the Hellcat engine. It's a supercharged Hemi engine with over 700 horsepower. I'm not gonna lie. I already got a few reactions just by driving this. I actually picked it up in LA. I did leave my Tesla there. Um, I'm actually about to go back there tomorrow or the next day to get it. I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that, son. Hold on, let me get inside. Let me get inside. Now, before I get into like the whole thing, I might as well show you guys the interior to this car. I'm not too big of a fan on the interior. I really only got this car mainly because I'm a fan of the Trackhawk and the Hemi engines, first of all. I'm a Mopar guy. I'll show you the interior though. It's not bad at all. Like it's nothing, it's nothing crazy, bro. It's, it's literally a Trackhawk. Uh, it does have the red seat belts. Um, it is the leather package. Now, I actually had like the option of going between a Range Rover and a G-Wagon and a Trackhawk. Now, originally I tried to go for a Range Rover, but then I just really started thinking about it. Like, yo son, I'm really young. Um, I'm only 21 years old and I still have a lot to live, you know, hopefully. I still have quite a bit uh, to go with my life and I'm not really ready for a luxury car. And if you guys don't know, the Range Rover and the G-Wagon are both really luxury cars. These cars are pretty much all in the same price range. Um, the Trackhawk was around $126,000 out the door. The Range Rover, they wanted like $135,000 out the door. And the G-Wagon, they wanted like $144,000 out the door. And to be honest, I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see me get the Range Rover, the G-Wagon, or the Trackhawk. And everybody, everybody on Instagram was just telling me, yo, like get the Trackhawk, this is your car, like this fits you, it's perfect. And by the way, I got really lucky with the color because if you look right here, I hope you guys can see, but it's a Nardo Gray. So this color on the Trackhawks are actually pretty rare to find. Um, I hope that demonstrates it right there. So I went with the Trackhawk and on top of that, for those who don't know, I already have a Tesla Model Y. And to me, that's already a decent car in terms of luxury. It has, you know, the nice look inside, the outside, everything about that car is nice. It got heated seats, uh, sunroof, this, that, and the third eye. Uh, like, it's, it's a good car for luxury. And I was like, bro, ah, do I really need two luxury cars? I need something to have fun with. And the Trackhawk was like, it was it perfect like this is the car for me i'm not gonna lie i'm actually really really excited uh <laughs> i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i'm excited bro i just want to thank you guys all each and every single one of you guys who have supported me throughout my years of um being a content creator here and a lot of people who um you know just been rocking with me since day one and a lot of you i know a lot of you guys are new too without you guys i really like really wouldn't be anything in life i swear to god bro i i i I'm grateful. Every, I can't even talk. Uh, it's it's an emotional moment. Emo, um, moment. I'm telling you, I can't talk. Without you guys, I really wouldn't be anything in life. Another thing I want to say is, I know a lot of you guys already know this. I'm, um, I like to consider myself smart when it comes to money. I just want to let y'all know that I'm not spending my money on cars that I cannot afford. This is like play money to me. This is money where I can actually enjoy and splurge myself on. Over the past couple of years of me just saving up money and investing. Um, I kind of built up a nice portfolio to kind of just have some fun. Obviously, I'm not going to go out spending my money on stupid ass things, but what was that noise? Damn, I, I, I don't even know what that was. I'm not stupid when it comes to money. I think I'm actually pretty smart because um, I grew up broke. A lot of you know this. I came from poverty, Section 8 housing. I grew up dirty poor, bro. Like, just poor. And that really goes to show you, like, I feel like if you put your mind to something and I feel like if you you're hungry enough for something I feel like you're more bound to get it and if you're dedicated if you're smart you work hard it's bound that you're gonna achieve your goals and I don't want this to be like oh look at him flexing no 
Y'all know I'm not that type of person to flex my cars. Y'all know, I, or like my, my, my things. I tell y'all everything because I'm transparent. Um, I don't really like to sugarcoat anything. Um, I like to show y'all everything inside my life in and out. I'm literally somebody who just plays video games at home. And I'm able to do something like this. And I know for a fact that a lot of you out there are inspired by me. Uh, so a lot of you are motivated by me to go out there and achieve your goals and your dreams. I want to let y'all know something. I, I'm not the type of person to flex anything or like, I'm a very humble person, bro. I had a million dollars in my bank account and I was still driving a Toyota Corolla. I had literally over seven figures in my bank account and I was still driving a Toyota Corolla. And until it got stolen, I think to this day, if I was... In my Corolla, I would have never gotten a Trackhawk or a Tesla. Up until somebody actually came over into my crib outside, literally right here. This the Corolla got stolen right here. Same spot that I'm sitting at right now. I woke up three days later and noticed it was gone. I think if my Corolla wasn't to be stolen, I think that I would actually still be riding in it. And that's because, you know, I don't know. I'm not really like into materialistic things, but my friends have been telling me, I'm like, bro, should I go for it? Should I get another car? Um, I bought the Tesla for gas, literally just because I didn't feel like paying gas, especially out here in Cali, bro. Gas prices are like $6 now, which I'm about to hate because I'm driving a V8 now. Anyways, that's besides the point. I don't want this to go over your head like, yo, you just flexing what you got because I know there's going to be a lot of people hating on my shine. And that's fine, bro. It's not about flexing. It's more about um, just showing you my life. And I promise you this one thing, bro, because I know this is going to inspire a lot of people. This is going to actually help a lot of people get after it is whatever it is that you want to achieve in life i swear to god bro i'm somebody who dropped out of high school and i went from that to playing video games for a living in my life and you know what i was doing nothing i was just doing me uploading my content boom boom and don't get it wrong don't get it twisted like yo son i, I didn't just blow up out of out of nowhere out of the blue oh who is this guy no bro i went months with nobody watching my videos months just do you do what makes you happy everybody else you heard like don't listen to nobody bro because i swear to god if i listen to my parents or i listen to my cousin or i listen to this that and the third oh like do you really just want to do this is this gonna get you bro like i love my parents to death but i swear to god if i would have listened to them i don't think i'd be where i'm at i'm mom and dad i know you watching this video i don't think i'd be where i'm at the reason i'm here is because of me you and god that's it i know where my blessings come from up there man Without him, I'm nothing. Without you guys, I'm nothing. Without me, I'm nothing. Those three try factors. Uh, I hope I didn't talk too much. One thing I do want to show you guys. When you buy like a Hellcat or you buy like a uh, Demon or a Red Eye or like a Mopar car, you're supposed to get a red key and you're supposed to get a black key. Now, I actually... <laughs> <laughs> I actually got two red keys. I right, listen for those who don't really know what these keys mean. Um, basically, you unlock the full horsepower with these keys right here. Um, I didn't get a black key. Like the black key is something you give to like your mom or your sister. It's like a soccer mom car. You basically, hey, take the black key. Don't take the red key because it's like a little dangerous. You feel me? But I literally got two red keys. They gave me two red keys, so it's like, oh, like what are you trying to tell me? Y'all trying to? Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest here. They know I'm always on demon time. There's no reason for a black key, son. I'm going to be doing 150 on the dash everywhere I go. Schools, neighborhoods, I don't care. I'm doing 150 on the dash. Oh, what's that? A 20, 20 mile per hour speed limit? Guess what? We turning that up up to 150 miles per hour. Now, hold on. Um, I'm not going to give it too much gas. I'm still in my neighborhood. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm still in my neighborhood. Hold on. My neighbors are going to hate me, but I'm going to do it. So... Listen, I'm gonna go from here all the way to down there. I'm not gonna give it too much gas. Um, I'm still gonna be in auto. Should I go to track? Listen, I don't wanna, I just don't wanna upset no Karens in my neighborhood. I'm on good terms with my neighbors, bro. I'm trying to keep it like that. Woo! I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, hold on, just in case y'all think I'm playing. Look, look, it's Karen. Is that? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Listen, I'm not trying to have my neighbors hate me, but <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie, this thing is OD as hell. <laughs> yo, they OD it. If y'all ever meet me and I'm in the track hall, yo, ask me for a ride and I'll give you one. Just in case y'all think I'm actually lying, I'm telling you, this thing is OD fast. Mind you this, this is stock. There's nothing on this car. 
I don't even want to just tell you. I, don't, I can't even tell you how, <laughs> how fast I just went. One hour later. All right, so I'm on my way to right now to get some gas. This is my first time filling this up. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really too excited. Um, I'm going to go down like 20 minutes. Just go fill up gas real quick. Go to the city. All right, so this is a clear runway right here. Let's see. Hold on. Should I give it some gas? I just want to let y'all know I'm going the speed limit, okay? It might not sound like I'm going. I'm not going the speed limit, but I'm going the speed limit. All right. You gotta tease it a little bit. You hear that supercharge? Wait. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I can't. I can't. This thing is OD, bro. They OD. Whatever. I don't know what Dodge was thinking. Yo, let's put a Hellcat engine in a freaking Jeep. Are you crazy? All right, guys. So I'm actually filling up gas right now. I wonder how much this is actually gonna be. Um. I ain't gonna lie, we already hit a 20, yo. <laughs> Honestly, my guess, I think I'm gonna be spending like $140. That's my guess, $140. I think that's fair, right? For a full tank, 24 gallons, $140, that's not bad. See, you know we down here in the hood. Look, listen, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> listen, y'all know this, bro. Y'all think I'm about to fill up in the suburbs where I'm from? I'm from the suburbs, I'm a suburban kid. You feel me? Guys, it's still gone. Still going. I'm going the full tank. Let's see. You know what's crazy, bro? You buy a $120,000 car, right? And the dealership won't even fill it up for you. They give it to you with half a tank. Guys, look. $101. Boom. I, honestly, I was expecting like, what, 140 This ain't too bad. I ain't gonna lie. This is not too bad. All right, guys. Uh, that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this. Hey, listen. I ain't got no neighbors around me right now, so I can honk. I'm actually so excited to own this um, Trackhawk. Um, I might do some... Let me know. Y'all wanna see me like rap it? Y'all wanna see me do something crazy with it? This is crazy. I'm telling you, like, the, the engine stock is already crazy enough. So if you guys want to see me do some more things to it, just let me know. I'm not going to be a car guy, a car channel. No. I just bought this as, like, a weekend car. I still have my Tesla. I still have everything. This is just something to have fun on the weekends with. And, hey, I got it. <laughs> yeah, my dream car. Literally. I've been wanting this for the past couple of years. Ever since they dropped it in 2018. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. I'm going on for too long. I love y'all. Y'all can do anything. You put your mind to you hard. Do not let anybody tell you nothing. Do not let anybody tell you anything. Do you have fun and just do you. That's all I got for you. Just do you, bro. I promise you, you're going to be fine in life. Just do you and you leave the rest. Do your best and leave the rest, bro. That's all I got for y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Without y'all, none of this would be possible. I appreciate I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all, bro. I love you. I fucking love you, bro. I'm sorry. I'm getting up here emotional. I love y'all. Take care, bro. Take care of yourselves, and I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, all right? I love y'all. Take care. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.